my god, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. Price of beauty. <laughs> Comes together, huh? A few years back, I got excited about uh, the Iron Man movie. And when the first one came out, as soon as I saw the first trailer, you know, it was probably a lot of people excited about something to do with comic books or Robert Downey Jr. For me, the real star was the suit. And as soon as it showed up on screen, you know, I figured I had to have one. By the time I was done, I ended up with a pretty good facsimile of the screen used suit. The next really big one uh, was my ED-209 replica, so it's a life-size copy of the bad guy droid from the original Robocop films in the 1980s. Anybody who would try to limit themselves to just one way of doing something is going to really shut down a lot of possibilities. Um, I've really become sort of a jack of all trades. So I'll be making things out of metal, I'll be making things out of plastic, whether it's styrene or acrylic or anything else really, you know, vacuum formed or just heat formed and forged. I'll find myself tooling leather just as likely as, you know, laying up fiberglass. It really just runs the whole spectrum of any kind of method of fabrication you can come up with. At some point will find its way into projects that I'm working on. Just about everything that I use was designed for something else. So either it was made to be used as an adhesive or it was made for construction materials. I spend a lot of time looking at anything that I run across trying to think of how it can be essentially abused and turned to my own purposes. In between all of that, I also find plenty of time to screw around in the workshop and build things for me and my friends. It's really difficult for me to decide exactly, you know, on a, a process for determining what's worth making and what's not worth making. Uh, the way I usually do it is I'll see something that I really like, whether it's from a video game or a movie or TV show, and I'll make it a point to ignore the initial impulse to jump right in and start building something right away. If six or seven months pass and I still am in love enough with the thing to make it happen, then there's a pretty good chance that I actually like it enough to see a project all the way through from start to finish. This one is one of two that tends to be maintained in some sort of like display ready shape. I also did uh, another project about the characters from a game called Warhammer 40,000. They're the giant space marines that I made. If uh, you put me in it, normally I'm five foot seven, and by the time the whole suit's strapped together, it puts me at just about seven foot eight. If somebody had asked me 20 years ago where I wanted to be now, um, what I'd told them was I just kind of want to have a workshop with a bunch of people I like hanging out with and make cool stuff. And essentially, it's what I'm doing. So yeah, it might be cooler if all of a sudden, you know, one of my creations was the star of a feature film, but it would still just be me with a group of guys that I like hanging out with making cool stuff.